<laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, we have a real star on our hands today. Let's meet Stephen Bagal, the Beagle Mix, who is so cute and so sweet and lived most of his life outdoors. But now he's at Brookings Regional Humane Society in South Dakota. So joining us with Stephen Bagal is Mariah. How are you? Hi, I'm great. <laughs> Stephen's trying to go explore. He oh. is very curious beagle. Oh, he's so he's trying to get all the sniffs. He is so cute. And I know people always tell me they, they can't find beagles or certain breeds in shelters and rescues. But look, there there he is. So tell us all about him. Oh, um, so uh, Stephen Begall is a beagle mix. He's about two years old. He came to us with a little injury and we got that all uh handled and figured out and now he is just the sweetest boy and he's ready for his forever home. Oh my goodness, he is so cute. How big do you think he is? We're, we're watching some video of him, but what would you say, about 40 pounds? He is 32 pounds 32. and he's full grown, so he's gonna stay that uh, weight. He's gonna be a nice medium-sized dog and um, he loves to be a lap dog, but he also loves to be adventurous. He loves to go on walks. He <laughs> likes to hang out outside on the porch with his family and he's just a wonderful, sweet, loyal guy. He's a little shy at first, but once he warms up to you, you have made a friend for life in Stephen Begall. Oh, he is so sweet and I've gotta say I love the name too. Yeah. <laughs> He's a star. Uh, he is a star. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So he's good with everybody. He's good with kids. I know you said yep. he likes other dogs. Maybe bigger dogs should have like a slower dogs, introduction. He's a little bit uh, apprehensive, but you know, with the right slow introductions, he's totally cool with bigger dogs. He loves going to the dog park, so he really likes the small dogs um, there. And then bigger dogs, he just needs a little bit more warming up time. We've brought him in around all of our cats around here, and he is just kind of completely unfazed by cats, so he could do cats do um, and then we think he'd love to have a home with like a family with older children yeah. that would like to take him out for walks and hang out with them outside and really get him active and moving around because he just loves to sniff an adventure he loves it. <laughs> oh well thank you so much he's really really sweet and I hope somebody out there fell in love with him I can't imagine why they wouldn't and they will go to your website brookingshumane.org for more information on Stephen Begall and of course you can always Always visit a local shelter or rescue. Even if you can't adopt right now, maybe see if they have any volunteer opportunities, if they're looking for any items that you can donate. You know, there's always something you can do to help out. And maybe it is the right time to find your adoption ever after. Thank you so much, Larissa. Did you